We have a month left of the school year. Thank goodness, because parents need to keep their kids entertained after that all day long. Luckily, there are upcoming activities and events for parents. Julie Cole is a parent. She's a co-founder of Mabel's Labels, parent blogger, Mama Six, back on the show. Are you at this point where, do all your kids work at this point in the summer? So, not quite. No, almost. not quite. You're, you're almost. almost there. That's going to be great, huh? Yeah. Imagine getting them all off the payroll. Oh, Whew. right. That's, I don't yeah. know. That's, that's kind of in your future. I'm <laughs> years away from that. Uh, how you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I'm doing well. Um, things are busy. Like yeah. you said, we're wrapping up the school year uh, next month, but there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I thought I'd share a couple of fun ones for families and parents. So this weekend is the Bump Baby and Toddler Show happening happening at the Ancaster Fairgrounds. And there are going to be incredible vendors there with exclusive giveaways and, uh, and, and exclusive offers. There's seminars with sleep experts, doulas, lactation consultants, all I actually be on the stage at 12:30 on Saturday talking about managing the mother load. There's a wellness lounge where there's going to be baby yoga and product and baby gear demos. So that's super fun. And then next Friday is MomCon, which is a parenting conference and it's really great. It's going to be at the RBG. They're having they're kind of replaying the day. So there's going to be two sessions to accommodate, you know, busy family schedules. And uh, there's going to be incredible speakers and panels and, and parenting influencers. A couple of my faves are going to be there. Libby from Diary of an Honest Mom, who is hilarious, and Renee from The Mom Room. So anyone who kind of follows like mom TikTokers or mom influencers, they're going to be there and they are absolute dynamos. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Where's the where's dad con? <laughs> Tim, that's up to you to organize. The You're pub, to the pub around the corner. <laughs> yeah, the I, pub around the corner. Say that. Say that. Can dads go to that type, that type of thing? Of course, of course. We love dads, and I think there's going to even be a dad panel. So okay, we'll get you on it because there time. is. There's lots of dads that do stay home with the kids. Oh, 100 percent. I'm. I'm. Yeah. And there's, like, there's I've, a lot of great. I follow the tired dad. He is hysterical. I don't know how. And, I don't know how he does yeah. it. It's yeah. yeah, it's not it's not it's not an easy job. And I love babies. I love seeing babies. But uh, yeah, I don't need any more babies. Goodness. <laughs> You've got plenty. Oh, goodness. OK, uh, Pride. That's coming up. Yep, June is Pride Month as well. And although uh, the Hamilton Pride Parade is not happening until July, there's a lot of local ones going on. There's Binbrook, there's Brantford, there's London, there's Niagara Falls. If you want to do the trek into Toronto, of course, there's the Toronto Pride. And in fact, on June 4th, there's going to be a two-spirit powwow, which is going to be awesome. And uh, you know me, I'm a big fan of families celebrating Pride. To me, it sends a message to your children that you are safe, you're an ally, and that they are free to be who they are. And that is good stuff. So, uh, yeah, get out and celebrate. And all the information of upcoming events can be found on the free mom hugs and dad hugs, Tim, don't worry, mm -hmm. um, website, which, of course, I'm going to have on the CH website. We got a minute left. We should be spending more time on this because this is the biggest <laughs> thing of the month, of the month of June, Father's right? Day. Yeah, that's when we spend the day at the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and look, we, you know, we love talking about Father's Day and the kids love to make the crafts and do all the things. But also, I just like to take a moment to realize, like to, to point out that Father's Day can be also complicated and tricky for people. If, if you've lost a baby, if you're on a fertility journal, journey that has not yet been successful, maybe you lost your dad in the last year or maybe you have a complicated relationship and it's strange. So I do want to encourage dads that if it's a tough day for you, it's okay to do some self-care on that day. If if hanging out with extended family doesn't feel great on that day for whatever reason, you can give it a miss. If you want to just hit the golf course or you want to watch Netflix, you know, if you just you, you just need to get through it, that that's okay. And I know sometimes Tim, you men aren't the best about talking about your feelings. <laughs> But it is super helpful. So, you know, if you have a spouse or a friend or a therapist, it's okay to talk about these things, right? This is where we bring Liz into like the third window to really get into my feelings. And oh, what's that? Out of time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, sorry, Liz. Yeah, we can't get into my feelings because we run out of time. The point is self care, Tim. Yes. If you need to take self care on Father's Day, I'm sure you're going to be drowning crafts from yes. this day. You know, I love it. I love it all. Love having you on. Love seeing you. Julie Cole. See you soon. <laughs>